friends. It's that time. Got a big box. Look at it. So big. Oh, I see. Cool. So, sticker. You know, they call this the Bride of Frankenstein, right? But Frankenstein was the scientist. This looks like it's a bookmark, probably. Yeah, a magnetic bookmark. I really like bookmarks like this, although this one's kind of thick, so we'll see. And a books and stuff pouch. It's got a pin loop and a pocket. So interesting. This says, carry your notebook, pen, sketch pad, tablet, e-reader, novel, and anything else you need for on the go. Find the book. It is all about clever ways to carry essential items. Your items are protected on the outside by a sturdy leather effect, PU material, which means plastic. On the inside, a soft velour lining keeps your items comfortable while traveling. More plastic. A single outer pocket is good for stashing other extras like charging cables, ink cartridges, etc. Your favorite pen companion can tag along attached to the side pen loop. Keep your place in your current read using the cute magnetic bookmark from the peachy polka dot. You can't help but smile as you read along with a friendly ghost. Print it on durable, luster photo paper. This bookmark clips around the pages of your book, saying place even when, speaking from personal experience, you accidentally fall asleep while reading the, and the book hits you in the face. Want to say hello to the Inkenstein monsters. Um, this is from Eric at E underscore bear underscore ink on Instagram. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, inks. Here's where we're at. I'm not, I'm not trying to faff about taking this tape off today. Nah. I, my time is worth more than that. So, here we have, oh, octopus inks again. Right in, they're right in draw collection. Interesting. So, this month's inks from Germany, Octopus Fluids. Encourage you to get even more creative with your fountain pens. These pigmented write and draw inks are waterproof, light, fast, and safe to use in fountain pens. While the inks won't clog your pen feed, it is recommended that the ink should not remain in your pen for a long time and to rinse your pens out thoroughly between fill-ups. So we have Orange Bunny, Pink Gazelle. Now that's funny to me. Um, Violet Giraffe, Green Squirrel, green ostrich, brown penguin, and petrol. I would say axolotl, but I wonder if it's supposed to be axolotl. Because <laughs> it's, you know, found in Mexico. It's one place. Anyway, we have per the huge. Some coloring cards. I'm hoping I grabbed enough. I counted them, I thought, but you know, who knows? I have a dip pen with a, oh, I think it's a zebra G. Who knows? Uh, a glass dip pen, some cheapy paintbrush, and a will. I desire to do this somewhat quickly. So, let's get going. Oh, I brought this up because paintbrush always rolls away. Um, I also have, oh, this is a notebook with Tamoa River paper in it. White 52 GSM Tamoa River. I think the original stuff because it's a pretty old notebook. Um, the OG. So, zoom. And wait, it was just here. My Inca pet. Starting off with orange bunny. This bright bunny has a bold pink, red, orange hue with a wet flow. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> what, 
What are we doing? How does it, how does this work? Oh, um, okay. Orange bunny. What's the word orange look like? Does it take more space than I've allowed for it? Yeah. We'll make it fit. There, that's good enough, right? Yeah. Oh, move my water over here to the left where I need it, thanks. I also remembered to get a, like, non-terry cloth, cloth for this thing right here, which is helpful because, you know, Whoops. Okay. This is indeed very orange. The thinned out parts remind me of creamsicle. Mm, I haven't had a creamsicle in a while. Oops, I didn't swatch it on that. Then we are moving on to pink gazelle and the reason I laughed about that is I have pink hair and one night I was frolicking gambling through a parking lot saying I'm leaping like a gazelle and as I jumped nimbly pimbly from foot to foot and then I rolled my ankle and it was sprained incredibly badly <laughs> Don't be like me. <laughs> this seems like might be fuchsia. This says, gallop around the page with this light fast pink ink. Do gazelles gallop? I think of them as sort of like, you know, leaping. Gambling, you know, G A M B O L. Although maybe some of them gamble, you know. They hit up the slots. Although, do you think that they would be like slots type animals? Or would they be more like roulette or something else? The, the the light parts are pretty, I mean, the whole thing is, but. Okay, next we have Violet Giraffe. This dark purple black ink might be inspired by the color of a giraffe's tongue. There's a lot of ink on that. Yeah. 
I continue with this dip pen because that's what I've been using for all of them. But this, these, the texture on these newer coloring cards make it difficult and unpleasant. That makes me a sad panda. Okay, let's see. So far, this just looks black. So if there are those of you that like need inks that are like black, but like not, this one's your girl. Oh, lovely. My hair used to be about that color when I was like 15. It was a little, little more eggplant or aubergine, if you're so inclined. And we have the next ink is green squirrel or squirrel, if you prefer. I don't, but I think I've heard some people say it that way, which is awkward to my ears. Years ago, I found a video that, like, it got sent around as, like, a viral thing of a non-American saying squirrel. And I think, actually, part of what was interesting is they were going with the non-american pronunciation squirrel which some people do say that are native english speakers so but not probably not american speakers so it was doubly insensitive of us to be laughing so heartily it was a simpler time <laughs> it's last week. No, I'm <laughs> More than a decade ago. Oh my gosh, more than a decade ago. How the time does fly. What does this say? Look, we're going to read in a minute. Okay. Uh, last month, there was a pink squirrel ink. This month, it's a dark bluish green one. Oh, got water on there. I think that happened to Amanda last month. Some month. Once with something. Okay, it didn't. I made it up. Oh, gosh. We're scrubbing. No, we're scrubbing. Okay, we're fixing it. Hi, I'm fixing it and not making it worse. Right? Thanks. Thanks for being supportive of me. Then we have, to cap that, and we have green ostrich next, which is a leafy light green with de decent shading. So saith the paper. There's a lot of G's in this. I don't like that. This reminds me a little bit of Schrodinger. But it's not the same at all. Or 767, but it's not the same as that either. I am finding it interesting how quickly I suppose it's because there's not that much ink on this dip pen because it's so fat it doesn't fit into the um, sample vials very far 
Okay. Man. These are looking good. Yes, they dry. Down to the last two. Am I speeding through this? It feels like I am. Brown penguin. Your pen will be waddling with delight while using this toasted brown ink. with delight. Okay. Be a bit warm to be chocolatey. I dipped it extra for, far in there and then I got too much ink. Don't mix it up, Maria. It's not working for you. Not chocolatey at all. I think we have, um, yeah, I don't know what color that reminds me of, like, or what food, because of course everything comes back to food, y'all. And then This says, so this is a petrol axolotl. From the depths comes an amphibious deep teal blue ink. Now I'm gonna add that dozen axolotl questions. I didn't get enough ink. I didn't leave enough space. Perfect. Perfect. You know, the thing is, it's not perfect, but it is okay. Look, and I took my time a little bit more with that. And it's slightly better. Probably worth the slightly more effort. This is a pretty one, but I'm safe from it because it's slightly greener. So far, at least when wet, than I like my teals to be for me, for me. Now, they're all swatched and I'm gonna pause this video. You're not gonna notice a difference, but I'm gonna clean up some stuff and then we'll come back and look at the slightly drier swatches. Wow, no time at all has elapsed. And yet this swatch is somehow a little drier. What? Uh, 
Um, okay, so here's where we're at. We got our little swatches. A nice lineup. Here's the first one. This still isn't dry in that blobby part. Um, I like these colors to go over here. Nah, things are falling and it's okay. But they're mostly dry on the Tamar River paper. So I'll just show, I don't wanna distract us, we'll do that. Um, I really like this dark purple, the violet giraffe. Yeah, they dry with almost, with a shiny finish. I think you can see it like that in the thicker areas. I don't think I'd put this in an expensive fountain pen personally um, because pigmented inks... Especially since I'm seeing this shiny finish on here. Um, that, I don't, um, I don't know about. But, I would put them in a, a, most of my pens. I just, not the most expensive one. So, um, here's the colors. Do you have a favorite? Mine is definitely Violet Giraffe. Although, of course, I like Petrol Axolotl. Because, of course, I do, y'all. Like blue is my favorite. So here's this month's um, ink flight. I'm probably, this is gonna be my last ink flight because I'm not really using the inks and it's feeling like, I don't know, like I'm getting it just to get it and to play with them and to make these videos, which is fun, but I don't know. I feel awkward about it. So we'll see. At any rate, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.